Hi, Ray Balzer with Aim Pro Billiards. You think you know how to aim? I have surprises for you. You aim, but you're not sure if there's a better way? Stay tuned. There are many options, and you'll learn the nitty gritty of multiple systems, enough to gain many insights. That might include understanding some of your misses. And certainly, if you're new to pool, aiming is a mystery and we'll clear things up for you. This is a multi-part series. Part one will cover cut angles up to 30 degrees. This video will introduce the primary aiming systems to consider. And a first principle of aiming is that you need to understand your vision well enough to know how to align your head and eyes to the shot. You'll get to test yourself against a long straight in shot later in this video. Cut angles are restricted to 30 degrees and less in this series because for those cuts the cue ball center can be aimed at some part of the object ball. Some aiming methods covered here require that. We'll cover ghost ball, contact point, double the distance using centers, and fractional ball aiming. We will consider them and their variations, including different ways to implement them and different eye alignments. We will not cover offset and pivot systems such as center to edge. I think there's value in understanding each of these methods and encourage you to get familiar with all of them. First, you might find one that really resonates with you. Secondly, you might find understanding the different techniques to be useful in unexpected ways. And you might even create your own aiming method using some combination of their ideas. Your ultimate goal would be automatic aiming, but I think most of us need a system to use to progress quickly. You might even find that your progress will be faster by switching from one aiming system to another as you develop skill. So you need to understand the various systems to be able to make that switch. One common progression is to start with ghost ball and then switch to contact point aiming. But over time aiming should become more intuitive. All shots start with the need to determine the intended contact point. Start by imagining a line through the object ball center going to the target. Then find the point on the object ball furthest away from the target. There are issues like spin and throw that can affect the shot and aim by a few degrees. These issues are advanced and complex and will be ignored for now. Ghost ball aiming, perhaps the most common method, is based on visualizing the cue ball at the instant it's in contact with the object ball in the correct location to make the shot. Generally, the center of the cue ball is aimed at the center of the ghost ball location. This is an easy method to explain and demonstrate and is what's usually first taught to a new player. But it's hard for the method to be precise. My upcoming video on ghost ball aiming will help you gain more precision. I'll illustrate the ghost ball target several ways for each of the eight cut angles and at different distances. If you really study and learn these, you should be able to be more accurate with ghost ball aiming. Contact point aiming, often recommended without evidence as the professional or correct method, requires aiming on the line connecting the two intended contact points, the contact point on the cue ball and its path to the contact point on the object ball. These points are symmetric. After determining the object ball contact point, estimate the cue balls based on matching the offset but on the other side. Perceptual errors and maintaining a straight stroke are the challenges. The upcoming video covering contact point aiming will graphically illustrate the contact points on both balls and the line connecting them 
using my computerized pool simulator. This will make the visual perceptual problem obvious. Then we will show alternative eye alignments to consider. I was surprised myself when I saw the results. Double the distance using centers is an underappreciated method. It aims the center of the cue ball at a point on the object ball that's double the distance of the object ball contact point from the center of the object ball. For a 30 degree cut, the contact point is halfway from the center to the edge. Doubling that takes one to the edge of the ball and that's the aim point. This method is visually demanding. Well, how do you do this step by step? Start as if this were contact point aiming. Find the object ball contact point, the cue ball contact point, and the contact point line. Next, figure the parallel line through the object ball center. See the distance between these two lines. Now, make another parallel line that goes from the cue ball center towards the object ball. It will be an equal distance away from the contact point line. Or said another way, the cue ball to object ball line is parallel to the contact point line and is double the distance away from the object ball center line compared to the contact point line. Now, I think there are some ways to make this faster and more usable. From the cue ball position, look at the object ball and see the center and the contact point. Judge their distance. Increase the distance by double and you have the cue ball center target. Or another way, adjust your cue ball center target until the contact point appears halfway between your aim point and the object ball center. Again, my upcoming video covering double the distance using centers will show eight cut angles in detail and at different distances. And I'll use drawings as well to show the geometry. Fractional ball aiming is about achieving fractional overlaps of the cue ball with the object ball. There are two choices. The easy choice is to estimate the fractional overlap intuitively or visually. It's easy, but not precise. The second way is to do it analytically. Now, how's that done? Convenient and easily recognized points on one ball are aimed at similar such points on the other. Thus, there are multiple ways to implement this even for a single cut angle with some room for individual preference. There are three primary targets that are on the object ball, the center, the edge, and halfway between. Then there are two optional adjustments to each side made at the cue ball to add or subtract a little cut. These adjustments are 3.6 and 7.2 millimeters. Since the cue stick tips are close in size, for example 13 millimeter diameter, we can estimate these offsets using the cue stick as a reference. Start with a centered cue stick and aim the cue ball from a point approximately either at the edge of the ferrule or halfway there. Then you start by memorizing essentially a table of aim alignment points for each cut angle. Eventually it will start making sense. And at some point you will recognize that the cue ball adjustment idea could be used with other aiming methods when you have reason to want to make a small adjustment throw compensation, for example. These concepts will make more sense in my upcoming video where I focus on this aiming method, including showing it in use for all eight cut angles. This method requires that you predetermine the correct fraction and then apply the correct aim with the correct aim points, even under game pressure. That can be challenging. Obviously, we'll need a full video to show the implementation for all the eight cut angles. And don't forget the value in learning the idea of these small aim adjustments made at the cue ball. You might want to adopt that concept for use in other situations. 
Then there's a hybrid method, I'll call the aim right method. It uses double the distance as its foundation, but has fixed aim points at the target ball. It's excellent for use in practice drills in conjunction with the aim right practice tool and its angles. It's very simple to apply the known aims to the known angles, but use in games requires an ability to accurately judge the cut angle. That's quite possible, but requires its own training. I have multiple videos to teach you how, and I created an, an entire pool game, Angles Challenge 101, that is great fun, quite challenging, and will lead you to automatically learn to estimate cut angles. Finally, recall I said I'd show you a straight-in shot? That the key, that's the key shot to help you find your correct head and eye alignment for accurate shooting. It's called finding your visual center. The start of that method is to look at a straight-in shot and determine how to align your head and eyes to that shot so it really does look straight in. Now, this isn't the same as 3D vision in real life, but it does have the advantage of being perfectly set up. Try different head and eye positions that would be compatible with pull shooting and see if something stands out. The right answer depends on the person and can be one's dominant eye, exactly between the eyes, or somewhere in between. It's worth spending considerable time at this. Follow up with doing this on the pool table, and then try shooting shots at different distances to confirm it. Misses should be evenly split to both sides. But there are many things that can go wrong here. Or said another way, there are many things about your stance you can fix with this simple shot and, w and it will pay off on all shots. I intend to make a video to detail how to go about doing this so that you not only have correct visual alignment but also correct mechanical alignment of your cue stick. A correct aim is not worth much if your alignment is off. Your progress depends on getting correct visual and mechanical alignment, learning to then maintain the alignment through your stroke, and then properly applying that with knowing where to aim. So, this video series will continue with one video for each of the aiming methods. We'll see each method used to shoot each of the aim right cut angles at near and far distances. We'll show options for the techniques and options on your eye alignment. We'll use theory with diagrams. We'll occasionally illustrate with real balls on a pool table. And mostly, we'll make extensive use of my computer pool simulation, where I can exactly set up shots and precisely draw lines, show overhead views, and whatever it takes to explain the method. And we'll offset our vision center to explain perceptual issues, and you'll see the exact results and choices with its 3D perspective. It's really versatile and awesome. You'll love it for what you can see and learn. There will be a final video summarizing all the methods and making some recommendations. I may release previews on YouTube, but otherwise these videos will be available separately as products or combined with AimRight product bundles. Contact me for details. Thanks for watching and good shooting.